What's the perfect pitch? A question. What engages your audience throughout your story? A question. What gives you all the insights you need from the other person? A question. What downsizes or brings down your nerves immediately? A question. Interaction. One of the most powerful components in strong communication and storytelling for me because without interaction, you're just throwing information over the wall. Use interaction at the right moments and you will see that it can do a lot for you and your story. So that's what I want to do in this video, show you when I use it, why I use it, and what it can do for you. The first moment I use interaction is in the beginning of a story, beginning of a meeting or a presentation to downsize nerves. Because when you're nervous, the audience is this one big block of scary people. And the moment you start with a question, a very simple question, and you give them the opportunity to throw an answer back, they will become individuals, they will become human, and you will downsize the distance between you and them. The moment they become human, the moment you have that interaction, you will just feel your nerves leave your body. I know it sounds scary to start with a question, to start with interaction when you're nervous, but it's the one thing, even if you don't believe in it, try it and I will guarantee it will downsize your nerves. The second moment I use interaction is when I pitch my business. When someone at a network event, elevator, investor club asks me, what do you do? I don't give them the one or two minute general pitch that everybody thinks they have to do or prepare. I answer their question with a question because the answer they will give to my question will help me decide what personal value and what part of my business they could be interested in. The best example is look at Dragon's Den of all these pitching programs where startups come with their ideas hoping to get investments from these, these rich people uh, in, the, in the jury. What convinces these people? Is it their pitch? If it's a good one, yeah. If they say you're gonna make two million as an investor in the first year, they will definitely invest. But what convinces these dragons is not necessarily pitch, but the interaction that comes afterwards. So if someone asks you, what do you do? What is your business? Make sure you start up that interaction because that will make sure you press the right button. The third moment I use interaction is actually always, every meeting, every presentation, every time I'm communicating and telling a story, I want to trigger interaction. Why? Because in my opinion, people need to give input every max 90 seconds. Because when you give them the opportunity to give input, to participate, you keep them engaged. They don't get bored. They have a feeling of being part of your story instead of just being the receiver. Go to a network event. I don't want to hear you talk for four minutes. I lose my interest immediately. I want to be part of your story, even if it's about your business or your life. So use interaction to give people the opportunity to participate, to be part of your story. Just as a parent, you want your kid to be part of the bedtime story. So they give, get a good feeling. They feel engaged and your message and the feeling you give them stick. And if you're now thinking, Marnie, that's great that interaction and asking questions will downsize my nerves, will keep people engaged in my story, make them part of my story, and it will help me pitch my business in the right way because I have the necessary insights and I can deliver the right value. But how do I ask these questions? The next video is going to be all about how you should ask these questions and what's the safest way and easiest way to do it. So subscribe to the channel or if you can't wait, read the book. There's a whole chapter on interaction. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.